Hi, everybody. In this quick video, I just want to clarify what College Board means by sequence selection and iteration for the procedure in the Create Performance task. So I get a lot of questions about, do you have to have selection and iteration in the same part of the procedure? And what I mean is, and here's a good example, here you can see the procedure and then the call to the procedure. Now, you'll notice here the call to the procedure can contains the iteration, the repeat block. And the procedure itself contains the selection statement. And I always get a question, will College Board accept that for the procedure on the Create Performance task? And the answer is no. You need to have the selection and the iteration all here in the procedure, not in the call to the procedure. They don't count the call to the procedure as the sequence selection and iteration. So this would not be correct. This is an example of something that would be correct. So here you notice in the main procedure, the algorithm contains iteration, that's our repeat block, and our selection, our selection statement, our if then. All right, and then you'll see over here is where I call the procedure. This is what College Board is looking for. If your students can develop a procedure like this, they'll get full credit on the Create Performance task for the procedure. Now, in order to prepare them for this, you are going to want to make sure to do assignments 3.11 and 3.12 in the UTeach curriculum. 3.11 is an assignment called list in actions. And they'll have to put in temperatures into a list and then pull out the minimum values, the max and the average. The other assignment is the sorting list assignment. That's in number 3.12, all right? And that is where I am using this as a procedure. So this in the assignment is just an algorithm that the students have to make. All right, I am taking that algorithm and making it into a procedure. So that's why I recommend you do assignments 3.11 and 3.12 with your students. The algorithms your students write for those two assignments can be turned into procedures for their Create Performance task. All right, and as always, remember that procedure has to pass a parameter through it for the Create Performance task. All right, so this is just a quick reminder about the procedure when it comes to create performance tasks. Good luck.